Hi, I'm Dave Young from CryptoVest.com and this is Crypto News Weekly, your weekly roundup of what's happening in the cryptocurrency world. Now this week we have how sex blackmailers have netted half a million dollars of Bitcoin. Vitalik says it's time to ostracize fake Satoshi Nakamoto. South Korean tricked out of millions of dollars of Bitcoin in Nice. Apple co-founder Wozniak joins crypto startup. SEC rejects multiple ETF proposals as too risky. Cybersecurity firm Banbreach has recently told Motherboard that through a survey of monitoring Bitcoin addresses mentioned in social media posts about sextortion claims, they believe blackmailers have already netted half a million dollars of Bitcoin. The scheme works like this. The enterprising criminals have brought uh, previously breached security passwords off the dark net from sources like LinkedIn, then sent a speculative email en masse to people saying, we've breached your system. Here's the password. We've had a bug in your computer. We've been monitoring you. You've been to the porn sites. We've now been using your webcam to capture some uh, delicate material. We've made a nice little footage of a two shot, you know, one side, what you were watching, second side, what you're doing. And if you would like to give us between $2,000 for the more conservative efforts or $8,000 in Bitcoin to these private addresses, we're willing to forget the whole matter. Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum, is calling on the crypto community to completely ostracize Craig Wright. Now, Craig Wright, as you might remember, is the guy that claims to be Satoshi Nakamoto, the founder of Bitcoin, not getting a lot of traction over the last two years with his claims because he's never kind of really proved it, but he just says it's a really big secret. And he's been leading the Bitcoin cash community in a certain technical direction, and when they don't want to follow him, he's threatening a hard fork. Now, Vitalik says this is a good time to flush him out of the system, and he's gone on to further say the new coin, the Bitcoin, Bitcoin Craig, BCC, would be a worthy successor to the former BCC, which is BitConnect, a massive Ponzi scheme, which is still hitting the headlines even as its demise. Its Indian head, Divyesh Daji, arrived in Dubai last Saturday, was promptly arrested for his part in the scheme, and only this June, Australian police announced that the wife of John Biggerton, another executive under investigation, had probably been murdered. And they were looking for two Indian suspects. Now, the next story seems to come straight out of a black comedy or something like Snatch. It involves a South Korean businessman who was quite technically savvy, been running some crypto exchanges, made a lot of money, got a lot of Bitcoin, wants to convert it to cash, links up on the internet with a Serbian counterpart to do the deal, travels to Nice in France to make the deal, meets him in a high-end hotel, they do the exchange, gets back to his hotel room, opens the case, looks at it carefully and realizes he's got a, a load of paper printed money, probably done on Adobe Photoshop and nothing else. Swallows his pride, goes to the French police, explains his predicament. They start investigating with a short time. It's led, their investigation has led to Cannes. They pick up the Serbian who's living the high life top quality hotel, 100,000 euro watch, and driving a luxury car. But they've yet to find the other accomplice who seems to have a little bit more common sense than to completely flaunt his gain straight after the robbery. Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple, has announced he's joining a, a crypto startup called Equi Capital. Now, you might have heard of Equi Capital if you were paying attention. Made a bit of a splash earlier in the year using big names. Baroness Michelle Monet of Mayfair OBE. Gonna democratize crypto wealth for the poor people. Well, they had a lot of publicity, a lot of glare, but they failed to meet their soft targets at ICO. And now they're back in November. Mr. Wozniak on board, gonna announce it at the blockchain summit at Malta. Woo, can hardly wait. 
another week, another round of applications for ETFs to SEC, another round of refusals from SEC saying they were too risky and open to manipulation. There were nine applications this week from Direction, Granite Shares, ProShare, and the market seemed to expect this. It took a minor fluctuations, but no big dip as of yet. I'm Dave Young from CryptoVest.com. This was Crypto News Weekly. If you like what we're doing, feel free to give us some love and hit the like button. If you want to keep up with what's going on with the crypto world, subscribe. Stay current, stay valid, stay tuned. Till next time.